Peace, peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 407. Y'all know what it is. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. If you want to donate, I'm pin the cash app in the comments. So, uh, I've been seeing what's going on, <clears throat> looking looking at what's going on with uh, your boy CJ, you know, the little jit from New York singing the Whoop D song. So it turns out he ain't even like, you ain't Whoop D nigga. A lot of brim checked in, put you on blast, and uh, turns out you a fraud. Which ain't shocking to me, you know what I'm saying? Cause you could you could look at somebody and you could tell like stuff ain't adding up. Shit just don't add up. You look funny, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga got them big ass pork chop sideburns and shit just look funny. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, y'all gotta realize most of the these young cast. That y'all being targeted by corporate America. You know what I'm saying? It used to be a time in hip hop when you had your Will Smiths, you had your Kid and Plays, you had your Fat Boys. You know, the Fat Boys were like comedian staff, your Kid and Plays party. You know what I'm saying? You had these different type of MCs in the culture. Nowadays, it seems like it's just a gang culture being forced on us. The gang culture, the gang culture, the gang. And a lot of y'all niggas ain't gangsters, man. You understand what I'm saying? So, they forcing this on, onto our kids. Like, to where you think, if you do music nowadays, you're doing hip-hop nowadays, you got to tie a bandana around your neck, you got to claim a set, and that's how you're going to get put on. You got to get your face tats. Hey, I got, you know what I mean? I got my head tatted, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm tatted up. I got 10 years behind the gates. So I ain't got nothing to do but get tattoos. But, um, and I'm actually about that life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all cats keep falling for the okie dope. You know what I'm saying? You don't realize what corporate America is doing, man. Like, they building these niggas, man. These are Mr. Potato Head ass niggas. They, you know how you build Mr. Potato Head and put the arms on them and the nose and the, the glasses and that's what they doing. They building these Mr. Potato Head ass niggas, putting them out on the forefront. They claiming they gangs, they claiming they sets. As long as they could get away with it till somebody pulls their car and stops their train. Now, sad to say, this is making New York look bad, man. Because <clears throat> it's only happening pretty much in New York. 6 9 You know what I'm saying? Now this kid CJ. You got all these people being put on. And I'm not going to say it only happens in New York because in prison, I've seen this a lot. In prison, I've seen a nigga come through and homie got a bag. You know what I'm saying? He might not be a gangbang on the street, but he got a bag. He the plug or whatever. He could be the plug. He could be whatever. He just got bread. You know what I'm saying? He come in the chain gang. Now, you might have mostly the bloods in Florida was with a lot of extortion. So, you might have a blood, let's say. He, uh, he going to put him down with the set. You know what I'm saying? Now you got this nigga that's down with the set because he got a bag and you ain't getting none. The head, the head of the bloods in the chain game might be broke. He ain't got no family looking out for him, no nothing. He just broke right now. So they put him down because he got canteen. But he really ain't about no action. And if that man get caught up in the middle of some shit where somebody dies, he's going to tell. You understand what I'm saying? Because he ain't cut from that cloth. So he going to scream on y'all. He going to tell. That's what happened with 6 9 You know what I'm saying? The man was never cut from that cloth. Y'all put him on. and you and Because you, he had a bag. And he was taking advantage of that. 
because he had a bag and then you expect him to hold water and not say nothing when shit popped off when the feds hit. Y'all know better than that. There's niggas that's about that action that ain't gonna hold water when the feds hit. They gonna snitch and get out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't no honor no loyalty no more in the streets. So, <clears throat> these industry, music industry motherfuckers, they coming in here and they putting these little puppet ass niggas in front of you, flagged up. And you know what I'm saying? Got got these kids fooled, running around here, brrrat, and all this and that. Nigga, y'all niggas really ain't living like that. Y'all falling for the okie dope. Y'all running around here with the fire on you. You ain't got no beef. You just wanna your own live with your phone. Then the motherfucking feds come. And now you wanna tell your mama on Jesus, on, on everybody. Nah, man. It don't work like that. You following these fake ass rappers. And they 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 guiding you straight to the penitentiary. Penitentiary. If you're lucky, because the ones that ain't lucky, they pushing flowers. I got a lot of homies that wasn't lucky. A lot. I carried a lot of caskets. A lot. You know what I'm saying? I was lucky. I went to the penitentiary twice. I was lucky twice. <clears throat> so, you know, don't get fooled by these fake ass rappers. Y'all can surprise. You could look at that man and tell that man, you know, like, Man, the nigga look crazy. Man, the nigga look soft as hell. She has got a bandana on him. Put a bandana on him. Now he a blood. It's like they just recruiting anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Whoever, and it might, it might be like what happened to me before. We had a trap out there, and um, I come out of the store and the white boy's outside, and he's like. The trap's behind the stove, but the stove is a little hub too. So we come out and he's like, hey, uh, I got, you know, so, some shit for sale, you know, whatever. So I, I looked at him like, the hell this white boy come from in the middle of the hood trying to sell me something. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, listen, bro, this is a drug-free community. We don't sell drugs here, bro. We don't do drugs here. Burn up. So we slide off. Now we in a dope hole in the back. We in the hole. Like 20 of us. Niggas is getting high, smoking, drinking, all that. <clears throat> I look to the front, and it's that white boy again. In front of the dope hole. Short stopping, trying to catch custies. So I go over there. I'm like, oh, hell no. What the fuck this white boy doing? So I tell him, yo, uh, man, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? This this right here is a drug-free zone, man. We don't do drugs here. Even though everybody was getting lit. This is a drug-free zone, man. You got to get out of here, man. So, I chase him off the block. The next day, rest in peace to my nigga King Knowledge. They raided my little homie King Knowledge's house. I got a story on King Knowledge I'm going to spit to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Not today, though. But I'm going I'm, I'm to give you a little story on my homie. Rest in peace to my homie. But um, they raided my dog crib. And they told him, yo, we know that you holding the guns. That he was holding guns for me. They ain't find nothing though. But he was like, I don't even know who he talking about. I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know who he talking about. Oh, you don't know who I'm talking about? They pull out pictures from the day before where the white boy was at. So the, only, the only thing out of place that day was that white boy. So the white boy was taking pictures the whole time for the police. They have a, they have a, a police unit out here called the MBI, Metropolitan Bureau of Investigations. They're under the FBI. And they was investigating. So the white boy was taking pictures the whole time. But it, <clears throat> my point is, I feel like he was trying to trick me into saying, like, yo, this is my hood, this is my spot, nigga, get the get from around here, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what's going on, like, y'all putting these, they, they, they putting these fake-ass blood niggas out there, so niggas can come out and be like, yo, you know, like, how, how, like, Brim, yo, you ain't whoopty, nigga, this and this and this, my shit, nigga, woo, woo, woo. But, who knows? All I know is, there's too many fake gangsters coming out. You know what I'm saying? Mainly from New York, it's like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Most of the cats is getting caught false false flagging or telling or screaming is coming out of there right now. You know what I'm saying? Even Jim Jones, my nigga, like, come on. I could go on, man. Like, son got, son got, son got to give, man. 
Something got to give. And somebody with power in the industry that ain't dealing with, you know, saying them corporate, corporate America that's brainwashing our children with this gang culture. Yeah, y'all putting these kids in positions that they can't, they cannot make it out of. They're not built, they're not built to do this. And they're following these Mr. Potato Head ass niggas that they built in. They build them, put them together, and put them in front of the camera. Your kids is following that, man. It's this gang culture, man. The gay culture and the gang culture, I feel, is being pushed on us so much in the culture of hip hop. You don't see it in no other genre of music. You ain't seen this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I found out they said they said the homie, he ain't no Wookie. I ain't surprised, my nigga. I ain't surprised. There's a lot of cats that they claim they are something, and they might be, but they still really ain't. You understand what I'm saying? When that pressure comes, they're not. You know what I'm saying? There's some cats that's built off pressure, but there's a there's a fish that lives in the bottom of the ocean, right? This fish, if you bring him up out the water, he crumbles in your hands. Because the pressure is what keeps him together. You understand what I'm saying? And some cats are built off pressure. I'm one of them cats. I react, I do everything the best when I'm under pressure. When I'm not under pressure, I don't, you know what I'm saying, it's whatever. When I'm under pressure, I do everything the best. I shine my, 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 the most, the greatest when I'm under pressure. And some cats ain't built like that, man. Some cats are not cut from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? And we need to, we need to get the party, the party heads back in the music, man. We need to get, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to be yourself. You understand what I'm saying? If you if you a kid coming up trying to do this music shit, don't feel that you have to throw on a bandana and be in a gang and claim a gang. Don't let no corporate chunk change your image into putting you in a position where you claiming a gang and you're not you're not a gangbanger. You never was and you ain't you ain't built like that. Don't be afraid to push out some party music, to push something different, because that's what we need, man. Y'all scared to get crazy. Yeah, yeah. New York lost his identity. And I'm from New York, my nigga. But I'm I don't I don't, I don't be running around saying I'm from New York. Cause I'm from Florida. You know what I'm saying? I'm born in New York. I was raised in Florida. You understand what I'm saying? You got cats out here been in Florida 30 years from New York and they were like, yo, New York, BX, and this nigga wanna hear that shit, my nigga. My nigga, you a Floridian, my nigga. You been out here for 30 years, nigga. You ain't been to fucking BX or Brooklyn, nigga, in 25 years, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Nigga don't wanna hear that shit. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm a Floridian, my nigga. But New York. Y'all gotta do something, man. Y'all gotta do something, man. Cause it's it, it's too much, too much of this going on. You know what I'm saying? And New York is the you already know, man. The birthplace of the culture. It's time to take shit back. You know what I'm saying? It's time to take it back and put it back to how it used to be with the positive messages. With you know what I'm saying? Even with when TLC was out, they had the condoms, safe sex. You know what I'm saying? Cause the AIDS epidemic. Like it's time to go back to how we used to be. And stop pushing this poison on the kids, man. If you got, if you, if you a gangbanger, you came from that. It's a different story. You know what I'm saying? You're just telling your story. But if you ain't come from that, don't portray that. Don't push that image, cause you're false. You're not living like that. And some little kids gonna follow you, and you are gonna send them on a one way trip to prison with a life sentence, or a one way trip in the dirt, trying to be like you. You know what I'm saying? And I got a story about that too. You know what I'm saying? But uh. I ain't surprised a homie fake. New York handled that, man.